Hello and welcome to today's coffee lecture about SciFlow, a useful tool for scientific writing and formatting. My name is Aline Frank. I'm leading the research support team at the Science Library and I'm a subject librarian for biology. Within the next few minutes, I'd like to give you a short introduction into how to use SciFlow as a researcher or as a student. So what is SciFlow? It's a browser-based online text editor, and it's specifically designed for scientists and students. It's a German company and already in use uh, in other institutions. So why should you use the program? So you may know uh, what formatting is. When you are writing a text, you're preparing a manuscript and until at uh, the end of the process, you will be formatting and reformatting this very document a few times, several times. So um, it will take many, many hours, could be uh, more than 50 hours as a study set per year and per person, and this can be very frustrating. Also, you may collaborate with colleagues, and this may be complicated because you have to send around versions by email. And also different people use different programs for literature management, and this also has to be managed somehow. Backup is another topic that also needs time. So SciFlow tries to make your life e lives easier. It tries to solve these issues, or at least tries to make the process of writing, citing, and formatting much easier. How does it work? So you have uh, your manuscript online. This means that you have all tools that you need for writing, citing, and editing online in one place. It's got an integrated spell checker, for example, and you got a direct connection to your literature management software. You have more than 5,000 journal templates available by now, and this collection is growing. So each time you come across a journal template that you would like to use, but that is not yet available, please let SciFlow know, they will prepare it for you. So you have um, templates for thesis and papers, and this allows you then to quickly change between different um, formatting. So this is really, really um, a big advantage. It allows for a good way of collaboration. So different people in one document um, work at the same time in real time. You have transparent track changes and it's possible for everyone to join. The only thing you need is to have internet access. And for you as researchers here in Bern at Bern University, you got access to the pro version of SciFlow. You do have um, LaTeX equations available in here, even if you don't use LaTeX on a regular basis and uh, backups are done automatically. You do not need any installations. It's compatible with all operating systems. And a good thing also is that your data is stored in Germany. It's uh, secure and it's not used for commercial purposes. And finally, you get a very good help function. I tried it myself several times. So it's a chat box basically, and there are people from SciFlow and they will help you within a very short period of time. How do you access? This is uh, the link you can use. At first you register, you get an account for yourself, and then you just have to log in and get started. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I'll take you to SciFlow and we'll have a look at it online in live. So you should now be able to see my browser. And if this is not the case, please let me know. So I do log in right now. And we'll have a look on the dashboard. So this is uh, what it looks like. I am now in the document um, section. So I got all my documents online listed here that I'm writing on. I have here the possibility to use templates. I got my author profile on the left as well. So this is important because you need uh, this information to be added on any manuscript that you would like to hand in. So um, you fill it in here and it will be imported in your document. The preference section I think is very useful as well. I, for example, um, turned off product updates, but I turned on that I would like to be informed when a new version is created. 
And I would also like to have the spell checker, the Duden program, track changes, and the support chat um, functions turned on. So you can adjust this as you would like to have it, and then you get started. So we'll create a new document here. I have different possibilities, uh, a blank document in English or German, and then, which is much use, more useful, I think, you got the journal templates, the academic style templates, and also a thesis and assignment template. So for the moment, we'll go for a journal template. And now I'm looking for ecological modeling as a Elsevier journal. As an example, yes, we got it here. And again, if your journal of interest does not appear here, please uh, let SciFlow know. We'll create a new document. Here it is, it's stored automatically, and I can right now start to edit on this document. On the right, you see you get the toolbar. On top, we have the document outline, and you see here we have the different sections listed. I can jump from one section to another, and I can easily add a new section with the plus button in the middle of the window. So if I do so, I get a new window, a new section, and we will have it here somewhere. Yes, new section is added. So this is the structure of your document. Now you work on, on your document, you add text, uh, you format, you edit, whatever you would like to. Um, you use the toolbar on top for changing the text. You also use it for adding figures and tables, and as I said, equations, and everything will be um, formatted as, as it should be. To cite other documents, you can use the button up here. It's a window that will show up. You can type, uh, look for, for an author, for example, and then you would find your uh, reference. Some more words about citations. Um, you got your reference library here on the right. And it's very useful if you at first connect it to your literature management program, either Mendeley, Sotero, uh, EndNote, or whatever else. So you switch here to a library. You see I got references in there because I connected it to Mendeley. And up here you can do um, adjustments. So once you have your library synchronized, you will be able to directly go to your um, reference library and pick references. And you pick them literally, so you grab one and throw them in here. So I have one, one reference added to the text. That's the second way of how I can insert citations. And all citations within that document will appear here in this section, this document. So um, everyone who is working on this document will have these references available. I'd like to show you how we collaborate online. So um, my colleague Nuria, she's online as well, and she should be able to have access to this SciFlow document. This is my demo paper, I called it. And Nuria, if you can do so, you can now add some changes to this paper and we'll see whether this works, whether we can see your edits. Um, it should be real time and maybe you type something to the title or abstract so we can see what is going on here. I do now see it. So we have here a small button, it's called Nuri, a short version of Nuria. And we can see that she is now in the text adding something. Nuria could also add comments. So in case that you would like to add a comment, you just highlight text. You go to the comment section right here, or even better, you use this function here, the small button with two functions, add a comment or add a suggestion. And I, as an author or a co-author, I could then accept or reject any changes. Once that you have a new version, it's a good thing to save it. So you create a revision. Up here on the right, you have the button create revision. And after creating a revision, you have the possibility to go back to the document history. I'd like to see whether I can show you this. And the document history allows you to compare different versions, and then you see track changes. 
So I have the current document active. I go back to another one from yesterday. I activate this one as well. And now let's see what happens. Yes, we see what has been changed. There was a major change in the title. And when I scroll down here, it's uh, marked in red and green what has changed. So this is very useful as well. Going back to the first document here, I will show you the spell checker. This is the spell check button. It will show me where I have mistakes in my text and I can go through and accept or ignore the suggested changes. And finally, the magic is done by exporting your document. So once that you have everything ready for submission, you export your document, you download it as a Word document. And now I got my document ready already. And it should be perfectly formatted for the purpose that I need it to, um, meaning that we have here. And it looks the way it should for a submission to the journal um, Ecological Modeling, I think I chose. So this is very, very good. Uh, you can use it this for any purpose now. And also you get back to SciFlow and you reformat your paper um, create a new version, whatever, and you do this over and over again until you get your final uh, version. And if you'd like to change journal, you hand it in to an, a different publisher, a different journal. You simply change your template, you get a new template, you search for that template, and the whole formatting will be adjusted to the new journal style. In this case, just make sure that you manually adjust the document outline because this is something that SciFlow by now is not able to do itself. So please have a look at this and correct it manually if needed. So for the moment, this is what I wanted to show you. Maybe one last thing, um, the support function here. You can open the support window and you got a direct hotline to SciFlow people to get help. So I'd like to go back to my presentation, a very short wrap up. Um, a few take-home messages and suggestions. It is a good thing to regularly save revisions so you have a backup and also have the possibility to compare different versions. To fill in your author profile and adjust preferences makes sense. Also use the support function actively, ask for journal templates if they're not yet existing. And please also just don't hesitate and let us know if anything does not work appropriately. We got more information on SciFlow coming. There's a workshop by the end of March and there are two webinars in June here at the University of Bern for students and scientists. And also on the SciFlow webpage, you would get um, general webinars and screencasts hosted. Thank you very much for listening. We're already at the end of this coffee lecture. <laughs>